What's up, friends of the good boy? This is Manny, and welcome to the second War Robots video today. Which is weird, normally I only do one a day, right? But there's new info that I want to share with you guys about tomorrow's gameplay test server, okay? We have three new robots coming up, and I can already show you uh, the pictures of the robots, and I can give you a, an idea of, of their abilities, what they will be able to do, okay? With the stats and everything, and discuss it with you guys. So that's what we're doing right now, but before we go too deep into it, it's the second video today, which means as soon as I release it the first video from today will become old and you may not find it anymore and in order to prevent that from happening guys in the upper right corner is the link to the video here that we have um that i released today in case you haven't yet seen it it's running my favorite setup on a titan uh the rocket launchers with the machine guns as a light equivalent, uh, as the light backup, right? Having a lot of damage output and then having still the big boom from the rockets is a very powerful, fun setup, in my opinion. Probably not as good as the uh, energy weapons, but it's definitely fun. So check it out in the upper right corner if you haven't yet seen this video, guys, just to make sure this video does not get forgotten simply because we release a new one, okay? So let's start with the robots Nightingale, Ravana, and Cerberus. Oh, the three different robots. Uh, the last one is the community robots where you guys on social media decided what ability uh, it should have. Starting with Nightingale and now it gets a little bit complicated, okay? Um, let's, let's put it that way. If you understand how the ability works, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. <laughs> <laughs> because this is getting complicated, okay? Let's 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 fi let's figure figure this out together. Level eight durability, one hundred twenty-two thousand HP. It's similar to a gri now nah, a Griffin has one hundred fifty-three thousand or something, or a Raven. So it's a bit less than Griffin and Raven, but it's faster with fifty-three. Ability duration goes for 16 seconds, okay, and uh, and here comes the interesting part. During these 16 seconds, it gets stealth, okay, and flight. So far, it sounds like an Ao Chun, okay, but here comes the big difference. It doesn't have any active weapons during that time. So, I don't know what weapons it will have, if it's light or medium weapon. It looks a little bit like a griffin from the picture, so let's assume it might may have two medium and two light weapons. That part we will see tomorrow in the gameplay video, which of course you're gonna get as soon as possible on this channel here. Um, but let's assume it's two medium, two light weapons. They will be deactivated during the ability, okay? So it cannot fly around and kill everybody like the Ao Chun can. But, and here comes the big thing. It will, in a radius of seven, 75 meters, repair allies and maybe also, hopefully also itself, um, underneath it. Because it's flying in stealth up there and everybody in 75 meters radius below will get repaired and not just a little bit at level 8 it will repair 6245 hp per second for 16 seconds i've already gone forth to calculate how much that would be that's a hundred thousand hp at level 8 that this robot will be able to repair and not just one guy everyone in this 75 meter radius underneath the robot imagine this at level 8 at level max level mark 2 it will probably heal about I don't know 180,000 HP or something uh, in these 16 seconds so this thing can make a real difference on the battlefield although it won't be shooting you really uh, damaging you a lot it will be flying around and healing fit people in stealth so that's quite a crazy thing but we're not done yet. That's still just one part of the ability. The other part is it has also a built-in weapon that it will use at the same time in these 16 seconds. It will not do a lot of damage. It only does 2,600 damage. So it's like doing nothing at 600 meters, but it will suppress the enemy. It fires... Well, actually, it does a decent... It does a little bit of damage because it fires... 1.5 times per second. So boom, 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 boom. That's that's how fast it will fire for 16 seconds and do this this many times 2,600. Oh, okay. Let's calculate that. That's uh, 16 times one. Oops. Uh, 1.5. That's. 24 shots with 2,615 damage each. That's actually a lot of damage too. So 62,000 damage it will also do if it hits every single one of those shots perfectly. And, and not only that, we're still not finished. It will also suppress the enemy uh, with a 75% damage suppression. Okay, so 
here is why it becomes complicated. You f you're stealthed, you fly around, you heal your allies, and for these 16 seconds of duration, you also fire with a built-in cannon, or so, at 600 meters, and suppress your enemy when you hit them, and on top of that, you're dealing 60,000 damage at level 8. Uh, so, yeah. The description goes as follows. The Nightingale is a robot with a cool ability and complex concept. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, he has a stealth flight in which he will repair allies and shoot enemies with built-in suppression gun. Though he will have all weapon slots locked while using the ability. Interesting part, new specific camera angle while flying. That's also something cool. Since it repairs people below, I think that the camera, when you activate the ability, will switch to above the robot so you can look down on your friends and heal them. But then again, how do you aim at your enemies and shoot them with a cannon? I don't know how this is going to work. This is a very interesting concept to say the least. We're gonna see in tomorrow's gameplay video how this works, okay? So <laughs> let's test the Nightingale tomorrow and see if this is a good robot. If from the stats, it looks like it's a great support robot. It has a, 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 an okay amount of damage output with the ability. It's relatively, I would say it's a relatively low amount of damage output with the ability, but that's not its point. It suppresses enemies and heals friends. That's the suppre that's the support part that comes into play here, right? And that's really, really interesting. And uh, I think it will have the potential to change the gameplay a little bit, uh, especially with the healing that's quite significant. All right? So that's the first robot. <laughs> Let's check out the second one. It's called Ravana. Uh, and it's basically a tank. The duration, uh, the, the description says Ravana, Ravana is basically a faster tank. The ability will be quick movement with invulnerability. So invincibility also, right? Ability power, speed increase by 250%. Let's have a look at the robot itself. 190,000 HP. To compare, a level 8 Leo has, I think, 220,000, okay? So it, it, it lies between a Raven and a Leo in terms of hit points. Maybe somewhere near a Boa. What the boa used to be? Oh wait, was the boa stronger than the Leo in terms of hit points? Oh, I don't remember, but uh, it's somewhere between Raven and Leo from HP. Uh, and it has a 45 kph, so it's not super slow either, right? It's a, it's an okay, okay. It's okay, not more, but not less, less. Uh, ability is speed increase 250%. All right, let's get the calculator out again. We have 45% uh, 45 kph multiplied by 2.5 means it's running around with 112.5 kph and, uh, and and has a decent amount of health. Uh, and then it has invincibility for three seconds. Two times, because it has two charges. So you activate the ability or whatever, and then you run around and you can press the button twice to get a three second invulnerability for two, uh, uh, and that twice, twice over. So you can have six seconds of invincibility and a high speed up um, increase. The ability cooldown is only 12 seconds, so it's relatively quickly recharged. The ability cooldown on the other robot, the Nightingale, was 18 seconds, by the way. I forgot to mention this. So it's a quicker cooldown here. Uh, not quite as fast as a Nemesis cooldown, but it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, it has a well, okay amount of health. Uh, it has a, a, an insane speed. It might become a good beacon capper. We don't know right now. Especially with, a, with the invincibility, you can probably capture a beacon really, really good. Again, I don't know what weapons go on this thing. Uh, it has a bit of a look of a hellburner slightly. Uh, but it's very bulky. Maybe also having something from a... a what is it? It's, it looks a bit like a falcon, like a phantom, a phantom hellburner or so. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's basically a tank. They say no damage resistance though. So usually the tanks have damage resistance. That thing does not. It's more like having these short invincibility frames um, that it uses. Okay, so testing this tomorrow. Let's see how it works. Okay, and by the way, again, if you like these news videos and. Um, then it, you find it informative and I hopefully I deliver the information well enough so you can understand how I'm, you know, how this stuff works. Then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet, guys. Third and last robot, and that's the community robot, the Cer Cerberus. Cerberus. I'm not sure how exactly you pronounce that in English. Um, 
You guys are obviously, or a lot of you on the social media platforms, have been able to decide which abilities it should have. And you can kind of see on the picture uh, how it works. It has three different things that it will do. Something purple, something yellow, and something red. Okay, let's take a look at what these things are, these different things. Uh, the new robot Cerberus has 95,100 HP. Very, very low amount of durability. It's I think it's less than a Pursuer has at level 8. A Pursuer has more health, I think, at level 8. Speed is good, though, with 70, uh, 57 kph. And it has an Aegis shield with only 23,000 uh, HP. Um, but the regeneration is well, relatively okay. 2000 HP per second that it will constantly regenerate. 2000 HP per second, okay? So it's kind of like a passive healing, a really good passive healing. Uh, it will not block a lot of damage, but it will block a little bit of damage and it will passively heal itself all the time. So it gets you a bit more HP than this one here. Just over time having some a little bit of an extra buffer between you and death, you know? <laughs> and then the ability power has 350 meter range. And what it does, it's that cannon here to the side. It does 3009 damage. Once or many times. It says only 3009 damage and it suppresses enemy for five seconds It locks them down for five seconds and it adds corrosion damage for five seconds And it's gonna be 2400 damage per second for five seconds. So uh, that's uh, We can calculate that in our head uh, 1000 uh, 10,200 or whatever something around this between 10,000 and 12,000 um, damage per um, Per, uh, in these five seconds is these the corrosion damage corrosion ignores resistance by the way not not bad to know Lockdown and suppression. However, of course, you know that if somebody is using anti-control uh, The module then these both things will not work, but the corrosion will still work Ability cooldown is only 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds you can fire with 3,000 damage That seems a bit low though, right? 3,000 damage every 10 seconds and then you have suppression Lockdown and corrosion. So I think the ability doesn't need to do a lot of damage because it has so much crowd control It has so many different, you know abilities that it does it suppresses it locks you and it does corrosion So the, the cannon doesn't do a lot of damage But it will it will really cripple your enemy and that's the interesting th thing about it and you can do it every 10 seconds That's crazy. So this guy can literally lock you down and suppress you almost all the time. Every 10 seconds he comes around and suppresses you for 5 seconds. And then, you know, after the suppression, you have 5 seconds of resistance against suppression and lockdown. And then he comes again after these 10 and does it again. So, that could be a very annoying thing to play against. Uh, despite having a low amount of HP, it can really, really, really be annoying to you a lot. And since it's not super slow, you can't also catch it super quickly. But if you catch it, you can kill it really fast because it only has very low amounts of HP. It's a community robot, says the description. You might know about him. We've managed some polls on our social networks to choose ver ver various things on the robot. Now he has a complex built-in weapon with lockdown, suppression and corrosion effect. So, um, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to, to test these things tomorrow in the test server gameplay, guys. That'll be interesting. It may actually be... May, I, I, may, I may actually do one video per robot. Because these things are so different that maybe it makes sense not to put this all into one ro video. Because it, it, it probably ends up being like a 40 minute long video. But instead just making it... Um, Maybe one robot per video, so you get one on Saturday, Sunday, and so on. And, and then maybe even two on Saturday. Let's see, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, trying to put, to, to make every robot be a video on its own. Um, so that we can fit this all together really well. But yeah, so <laughs> uh, hopefully I've been able to explain and summarize these abilities a little bit. Hopefully you guys do understand what they do. Because that is kind of my motivation to get you guys informed. So you know what's about to come. You know, tomorrow we're going to see how it works, but now already telling you, showing you the pictures. Uh, again, I don't know what weapon setups. This could be a heavy weapon up here. There could be a medium or a light weapon on its side. Or I feel like I've read about it. It's, it has two medium and... No, it has two heavy and one light weapon or something i don't know it has something it has a new config a really weird config i think with with something we don't have yet 
uh, in terms of a weapon loadout. I'm not sure though. And then this thing, I don't know what it has, and this thing also don't know what it has, but it has a very spiky nose. It looks like it could spike you up and, and pierce you when it flies into you, dealing additional damage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's leave it as that, guys. Hopefully you guys tell me tell me what you think about the robot and about the video itself. Hopefully, uh, I want to know if you guys understand these abilities now, because I feel, them, I feel like they're so complicated. I'm not sure if I would understand this if I watched my own videos uh, for the first time so tell me give me some feedback if, if I was as successfully able to explain it to you and also here check out this video in the upper right corner that if you haven't yet seen it and see you guys tomorrow in the test server gameplay have a good one money out bye bye